If you've been around horses very long, you may have heard of the saying, no hoof, no horse. Well, you know what? That's absolutely true. Because without a good hoof, okay, you really can't ride the horse because if the horse is sore, the horse is lame, there's a problem, it all comes from the hoof all the way up the horse's leg. Today we have a special guest. This is Dr. Steve O'Grady. Steve, thanks for being on the show, mate. Nice to be here, thank you. Dr. O'Grady specializes in all types of hoof problems, hoof diseases, laminitis, navicular, any problem within the hoof capsule itself, he specializes and he's a professional veterinarian out of Virginia. And Dr. O'Grady is here today to talk to you and me about some of the most common problems with hoof diseases and how you can take care of them. Everything from hoof abscesses to funguses, you name it, we're gonna talk about it here on today's show. Dr. O'Grady, tell me a little bit about, and the audience, in the most layman terms possible, because none of us are vets, you are, you're the expert, of hoof abscesses. That seems to be something we get a lot of questions about here at Down Under Horsemanship, about what is a hoof abscess, how do you treat it, and how do you take care of it, and where does it come from? Hoof abscesses are a very common occurrence. What happens is that with the horse's foot between the hoof wall and the sole, there's a junction called the white line. And this is an area where, right above is a lamina, this is where debris, stones, so-called gravel, farm material will sort of work its way in if this area is not kept solid. Mm -hmm. uh, with pressure, the horse's foot landing on the ground, this debris or organisms will be pushed up until the point where they see sensitive tissue within the foot. Right. Once they see sensitive tissue, they start to form, just like you would have a little pimple on your skin, start to form a little pressure inside. The horse shows lameness the horse goes up on his toe. Okay. okay, so basically in layman's term, would it be right to say that a hoof abscess is kind of like a, an infection or a boil within the hoof capsule? Absolutely right, but then again too, we, we, we look at the hoof capsule as being a closed structure, so once you have pressure or once you have infection there, it has nowhere to go, so the increasing pressure causes pain. Right, and then pressure is, is, is pressure, the infection grows and causes pressure on the lamina, correct? That's exactly okay. right. And now I've seen horses before, Dr. O'Grady, that I've been riding before that I've actually ridden around for 15, 20 minutes. I've stopped, let them air up, let them have a rest, stood there for five minutes, and I've walked them off and they've been literally three-legged lame. Like, okay. look, to the point where you almost think the horse's leg is broken. That's how lame he's walking across the ground. So, you know, basically a hoof abscess, correct me if I'm wrong, can be in the foot for any, for, you know, any length of time. There's no saying how long that infection's been there. But for some reason, something will cause that infection to grow rapidly or to put pressure on the lamb. I, correct? That's exactly right. You're, it, you couldn't be, you couldn't, it couldn't be more true. What happens is the infection builds inside the tissue. The tissue has X amount of space to expand. When that tissue or the infection and the exudate being pus gets to the point where you have, you've run out of space within the yep. hoof capsule, the, the brain sees it as from the nerve endings, this is pain, and all of a sudden the foot goes up, almost sometimes looking like a fracture. Mm -hmm. Now, how is the best way to determine whether or not your horse has a hoof abscess? Uh, Clinton, I think the best way we could go ahead and answer that question is to bring a horse out here and just show you some of the, the symptoms the horse would show and how we would make that diagnosis. Okay, mate, well, let's go get one. Okay. Dr. O'Grady, now we've got a horse out here. This is my horse, Diaz, and uh, we'll use him as, a, uh, as an example of, you know, pick the foot up and show okay. the anatomy and so forth. I, uh, the Diaz is not shot up front. I'm a big believer in the natural hoof care as a general rule, you know what I mean? Okay. And, and my horses up front usually are barefoot, and usually I keep sliders on them behind to help them stop for the raining. Okay. Uh, it's not that I, I, I'm against shoes by any means, you know, for the right, there are some situations where they might be applicable, but in this particular horse, he's barefoot and we keep him that way, but pick his foot up there and you can show the audience a little bit about what you're trying to do, how you're trying to do it, basic foot anatomy, etc. Okay, sure will. Uh, Clinton, one of the things we like to decide is whether the horse has a bruise or whether he has an abscess. And what, well, what is the difference between a bruise and an abscess? Okay, a bruise is bleeding into the sole where the horse is uncomfortable on the whole bottom of his foot. Okay. In that particular case, he will be lame, but he'll be walking on his whole foot. In contrast, with an abscess, he will have focal pressure in one point and he'll bring his foot up off the ground so he's walking on his toe. Okay. Okay. Um, when you have a foot abscess, the horse will generally be standing on his toe with his hoof off the ground. And the first sign when you, when you approach a horse with an abscess, this horse will be standing on the toe, is just run your, your finger and your thumb down his tendon till you get to the middle of the fetlock and you'll feel two vessels there. 
if he has an infection in his foot, these vessels will be thumping against your thumb and your finger. First indication that you have an abscess. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing we'll do is we'll pick his foot up. Okay. <clears throat> we'll take an instrument, a hoof pick for the back of a knife, and we'll clean it out so we can see the structures in the bottom. Very briefly, if we go around, this structure in the middle is the frog. We have the hoof wall. This is your hoof capsule. This area is your sole. And then in between, we have what we call the white line or the sole wall junction, which holds these two areas together. What we'll do next is <coughs> we'll look at the foot and see whether we have any area here that has a big uh, track or an opening in it. And very important to do a, a very systemic or uh, systematic approach with your hoof testers is you will start from the heel and you'll go all the way around the foot putting pressure on it okay if you get to an area with an abscess when you put pressure in that particular area that horse will pull his foot away from you and he'll show you the the pain if we use our hoof testers to go around the foot and we find an area such as this, we put pressure on here and the horse puts, pulls his foot away, we can generally feel that our pain will be in this area here. Okay? From that point, we'll take a small knife, usually with a, with a loop on it or the hook of a hoof knife, and we'll just go down on that area until we find what we see is like a little black track. Okay? In other words, going in. What we'll do then is just take the knife and go a little further until we find some drainage. And the drainage will start to drain out through here, and we can actually press on the sole and push it a little further, and you'll see it run out the foot. In other words, we're relieving that pocket of infection, in other words, being the abscess.